If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys some Madden 17 information. Guys, today, we have some brand new cards that leaked. Well, they didn't really leak. They were actually in an EA video, and I will leave a link to that video in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But with that said, let's hop right into it. And we're going to start off with Jared Goff, rookie quarterback for the St. Louis, now LA Rams. Jared Goff looking like it's going to be a pretty mediocre card to start the season for him. 70 overall. This is a silver card it looks like, so that's something interesting that you guys can see there. The other thing that I think is kind of cool about this card art guy, by the way guys, and this is something that Ryan915 pointed out to me. I like how the card, the actual like player pops out. So you guys can see that they kind of like cut out the player and then blurred the background behind them. So it definitely looks nice. Now the card art for the rest of it, I'm not too excited about. We'll have to see. I mean, obviously this is really low quality. So let's take a look at the next one here. And this is actually going to be Todd Gurley. This is an elite card, obviously 85 overall. If it's like years in the past, 85 is kind of where it breaks off between being a gold to being an elite. So this is kind of the first example of a card actually being an elite that we see in the game. Now, obviously you see Gurley being a, a member of the Vikings, kind of interesting. The other thing that I found to be interesting about this I did not know that Todd Gurley was a second. I thought that when you were like the number two like that, I, I thought that you were just a junior. I don't know. I have no idea how that works, but I never knew that about Todd Gurley. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, it's good to see this card being an 85 overall to start the season off. Uh, obviously, Gurley had a monster rookie season last year. I kind of thought that he would actually be a little bit higher. But I think that we're going to end up seeing that just about all of the running backs are going to be ranked or rated either a 90 or below. So that'll be interesting to kind of see how that develops because, I mean, Gurley being an 85 doesn't really give us much to go up from, to be honest with you. Like, you can't really get much better than that. I mean, Ty Gurley was one of the best running backs last year. Uh, next on the list, we've got a Josh Norman. Now, Norman was one of the best corners in the league last year. He went over to Washington now, so he is a member of the Redskins. In this picture, of course, he's on the uh, on the card art. He's on the Panthers, and then obviously in-game, they have him on the Saints. So kind of cool to see this one. 88 overall, arguably the best cornerback in the league last year. So for him to be an 88 overall, I'm guessing that we'll maybe see like a Richard Sherman, maybe, uh, maybe like a Chris Harris, or maybe a couple other guys possibly might be higher than him. But again, just like the Todd Gurley and uh, like the, the running backs, I'm not expecting that there are going to be a lot of cornerbacks that are above a 90 to start off the season. So that gives us plenty of room to go from the, the beginning of the season through the remainder of the year and really kind of boost our way uh, into getting some of the higher overall cards by the end of the season. So again, guys, 90 overall for Josh Norman, not too shabby for him. Let's move on to Rob Gronkowski, the cover athlete. This one is a 91 overall. Obviously, we expect that Gronk's going to be a freaking monster, and he is going to be a monster to start the season. Probably going to be the best base card to start the season would be my guess, at least based on overall. Now, we don't know that for sure, but uh, definitely a nice-looking card. And uh, the other thing that I want to point out, guys, is that it does look like the salary cap is going to continue in to Madden 17 because you see in the top left-hand corner of the screen, again, low quality because that's just how it came through. Uh, but you can definitely see there that there is the salary cap logo with the number up there, just like there was when they made that update in Madden 16. So again, guys, four cards to start the season. We've got three elites and a silver. We don't know what the bronze or the golds are going to look like, but we can kind of make uh, an educated guess based on how these look. But uh, overall, nice looking card art, very professional looking, uh, and I think it's going to leave us plenty of room to make some really cool card art throughout the year, maybe some die cut type stuff. The other thing that I noticed about this, at least in this graphic, is that all of the cards are actually just a square shape, whereas in the past couple of Maddens, we've kind of seen that they've had uh, some, you know, cutting around the edges and things like that, some indents and, and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the card art. Again, sorry about the low quality. That's just all that we have access to at this point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.